What's up, guys, and welcome back to the Stocks with Mike and Tom show. We have so much to talk about in today's video. MRNA or Moderna straight up exploded today to highs of $493. It's up like 17%. We also have news about the infrastructure bill. We have Bitcoin exploding, and we have a ton of great stuff to talk about in today's video. And of course, and of course a bunch of great plays. So make sure you stick around to the end to hear all of the plays. And if you are new here, don't forget to subscribe, but Tom, let's get right into it. Yeah, Moderna had a great day. Like you said, up 17%. This is actually a really nice move above the $420 resistance level that was on Moderna. That was actually a really good level to watch for today. As soon as we broke that this morning, we pretty much just went straight up. And looking at the one minute chart, there was very few times today where Moderna actually moved to the downside. And almost all those were towards the end, pretty much straight up all morning. And man, we really ran from like 420, almost up to $500, hitting 493 at the top. This comes on, uh, they were granted authorization in Australia. I saw a couple of reports last week where they're actually, uh, they're, they're, uh, their vaccine is actually somewhat uh, protective against like the Delta variant. You know, like they're saying it showed good signs anyways with their uh, current studies, but obviously there's going to be a lot more studies coming out, but overall just still good news with Moderna. And, you know, I saw that even like a couple of weeks ago, they just got authorization in Europe. So it's awesome to see them kind of getting to Australia as well. Very interesting. So nobody was expecting this type of movement on Friday. I saw a lot of smart money get into a lot of Moderna put options, and it really looks like they were buying those put options, even though the stock exploded. So no one was expecting this type of move, not even market makers. Like I even looked at some of Moderna's weekly options and they're up anywhere from, you know, 300% all the way up to like 1100% today alone so it's crazy movement it's definitely a stock to watch out for and i know australia already bought like 10 million doses of, of the vaccine from moderna and they have an option to buy 15 million more so just really keep your eyes on this one personally i think it's overbought and the options are super super expensive right now so tom do you have like any levels for us to watch out for i know this thing's probably gonna go crazy in after hours yeah, it probably will. And watch for that $500 resistance. I think that that's going to be a really big level. And obviously for, for a psychological level, like 500 and a thousand is our huge, very big levels for stocks. Usually I know Tesla was having a lot of uh, movement right around their $500 level also on their way up a couple of years ago or just a year ago. But looking at Moderna right now, there was a, actually a huge wall today, right around $460. And it took a while to kind of break up above there. But once we did, we kind of got that resurgence and another movement uh, to the upside, kind of like what we saw at open. Just a lot of buyers came in and really drove it up very quickly. And I would say watch for 460 if it starts to come back down. But if it starts to go back up, I would really watch for like 490 and then just that high of 493. Because if we break out above that, then we could run all the way up to 500. And man, if we break 500, I, who knows what we're going to see? I mean, this has been crazy. I didn't think we'd get above 400 and then 450. And now we're already back up to 500. So this stock is crazy. You know it. So guys, let us know what you think about Moderna in the comments down below. Do you think it's going to fall? Do you think it's going to break 500? Let us know in the comments down below. Personally, I think it's overbought and it's going to fall soon. Of course, nobody can call the top. And, you know, let us know what you think about this stock in the comments down below. But Tom, what's going on with this infrastructure bill? Yeah, there's actually the, well, they're, they're actually trying to pass the infrastructure bill. They're actually working on getting it passed either uh, today or tomorrow. And it looks like they're talking about more of tomorrow with the infrastructure bill, but Democrats actually released their $3.5 trillion budget resolution today as they're preparing to pass that infrastructure bill. And they talked about they might want to get the infrastructure bill passed first, or it depends on what the, what strategy they go at here, but they're definitely going to look at getting one of these passed. First, probably the infrastructure one, but it's interesting that they released this today. They pretty much said that they would invest in a whole bunch of different things to help out the markets and stuff like that. But we'll have to see what ends up coming out in there. And obviously, there's going to probably be a lot of fighting within Congress over that one. You know, it's a $3.5 trillion budget resolution. So it seems like it could definitely, uh, it, it obviously has a lot of money tied into it. And uh, especially like with the infrastructure package going on, there's just a lot of stuff going through Congress right now. And it seems like that they're taking the headlines every day. So just keep watching out for more news with them. And 
as these things start to get passed, I think we might see the market maybe uh, get like quick momentous, like moves up to all time highs, like quick breakouts as soon as that news drops. You know it. So, uh, Tom, while all this craziness is going on with stocks, I know Bitcoin and a lot of other cryptocurrencies are just exploding. We have Coinbase stock popping, Mara, Riot, uh, like you just had Bitcoin futures. They're all popping. So what's going on? Yeah, Coinbase's chart is actually looking really solid and they report earnings after hours tomorrow. But man, there's been some great news with Bitcoin lately. Apparently, U.S. lawmakers reached a compromise on cryptocurrency tax provisions that seek to exempt non-broker businesses from burdensome regulatory reporting requirements. So that's nice to see. And then also just the fact that Bitcoin's starting to go up lately. Like if we go back to those Bitcoin futures, we're starting to really see some solid moves up through this $4,000 resistance all the way up to 46,000. It looks like this recovery is actually getting pretty serious. And you know, we're already almost back up to 50,000. If you guys would have bought this dip and bought in at around 30K, you could be up right around something like 53% right now. So that's actually a pretty big move over the past few weeks. Yeah, it's crazy. So definitely keep your eye on Bitcoin and other cryptos. But let's get right into our member of the day, which today is Kieran Stryker. Huge shout out, Kieran. Thank you so much for being a great, positive member of the Discord. We really appreciate it. Like I said, thank you so much for all of your positivity and then all of your activity in the chat. You really help out a lot of members and you you, you, know, you definitely keep the mood positive. So thank you so much for everything you do. And then Tom, let's get right into these momentum plays with the first one being CHPT. Yeah, CHPT had an awesome day today. And these, uh, these charging stocks are going up a lot with this infrastructure bill news, but go ahead and make them break up above 2635 tomorrow. All right, with the next one we have Boeing. Yep, Boeing, go ahead and make them break out above 23357 or you could just say 234 if they break out above that in free market or something. All right, and then with the last one we have SPCE. Yeah, SPCE moving back up. This is actually awesome to see. I know they had those good earnings and there's actually a pretty big almost like triple top right here. So be really uh, mindful of SPCE. If they break out above 3562 tomorrow, I think we'll see actually a pretty big run. This is a pretty nice setup here. And I'm really glad to see them moving again since they fell on that $500 million share offering, which should help them in the longer run. All right, so we are watching these three plays for potential day trades to the upside tomorrow, only if they can break above the level Tom listed. But Tom, let's showcase the bots play from today. So the hybrid bot called out DraftKings calls, the DraftKings 51 strike calls at $142, and they ran all the way up to $225. Uh, this is the bot calling it out. If you want to trade with the bot, Tom and myself, every single day, you can click that first link in the description down below. Daily options, swing trades, day trades, order flow bots, you name it, we probably have it. The bot's been doing pretty well. And like I said, it called out a play at $142 today, and it ran all the way up to $225. It called out calls basically really close to DraftKings low of day, which was awesome to see. So definitely check it out. You can cancel at any time. It's that first link in the description down below. But Tom, let's get right into the unusual options activity for this week. And we are looking at the square 290 strike calls for this Friday. There was around $13 million put into these. And this one's pretty tough. You know, it's a 290 call. So like, I would lean more towards the side that the smart money is shorting these calls, but you know, Square is a powerhouse and they had a pretty good day today. Yeah, and Square just broke out to all time highs a couple days ago. So you'd honestly look for them to keep running. But like you said, it's just uh it's pretty far out of the money with the 290 strike. And you know, Square does move a lot, but I would say 290 is a pretty good resistance there. So it's really hard to say with this one. I would say with them breaking out to all time highs, I'd like to see them run more. So I'd hope that they're longing these calls, but I would say if I was the smart money here, I'd probably be shorting them myself. Yeah, I'm with you for sure. So let's get right into the comments from the previous episode. And we have a great comment from Rich. So he said, um, so here's the comment. He goes, um, I've been extremely sick this last week and still missing a lot of work. Thank goodness work is no longer my major source of income. You guys helped paved a new way for me. Even sick and in bed, unable to move much, it feels good I have a chance to make enough to cover for those lost days 
plus cover for my fiance for staying home to take care of me. So, uh, Rich, we really, really hope you get better. Um, thank you so much for the awesome comment, and I'm glad that you know we were able to help you out. So thank you so much for everything, and we really hope you get better. Yeah, I really hope you pull through, Rich. You know, obviously, I'm really glad that we helped pave this way for you. And really, thank you for the nice comments. I really hope you get better over the next couple of weeks. And, you know, I don't know how sick you are, but I really hope you get better. I'll definitely be praying for you. All right. And then we have uh, Jay saying, hey, what do you guys think of DraftKings for the next two weeks? So uh, I really like DraftKings. And Tom, we actually talked about this one on the stream today. And what I've noticed with DraftKings, so uh, just a disclosure, I'm very biased towards DraftKings. I love them for the long term. But what I've noticed with DraftKings is every single time they report earnings, uh, they pop up. Now, that doesn't mean they pop up on the day of earnings, but you look back through every single one of their earnings reports, and like the couple weeks after they report, they pop up, you know, literally every single time. That doesn't mean it's going to happen this time, but, you know, historically speaking, it pops up after earnings. So I like them. I also like them for that long, for the long term. And they had a nice, uh, pretty nice acquisition this morning of uh, Golden Nugget. Yeah, that was actually really interesting. Ticker symbol GNOG. They actually popped 50% on the news, which was awesome to see for them. That was actually a pretty big move. I know somebody was even holding some shares of Golden Nugget in the chat this morning. So good for them. And man, I'm glad to see this stock going up. And I think that the sector overall will do amazing. I love DraftKings. And honestly, I think even getting shares right now is a great, a great option for DraftKings. And you could get share, shares and then start to sell some, some covered calls on the way up, like around $60, $65, $70, and start to make some good money on those on the way up too. Good stuff. And then we have the Mac saying, told you all the banks would pop last week. LOL. AMD to $100, let it pop, then short the heck out of it. LOL. So yeah, I mean, AMD was uh, definitely coming down today. It's down around 2.5%. Uh, lots of selling pressure. And um, in my opinion, I think we're going to see some similar movement out of Moderna soon. Um, on a technical basis, the setups are pretty similar. Now, that doesn't mean mRNA is going to fall tomorrow, but I can definitely see a nice pullback coming on mRNA. Yeah, me too. And then AMD, that was just a crazy move they had today right after open. You know, they had that big dip down, huge dip back up, and then they broke those lows towards the end of the day. That was actually a crazy move. Moderna is still like at the top of their... Uh, at the top of their move now. And, you know, AMD, that's actually a good point because, you know, a lot of people were saying AMD to 130, 150, you know, stuff like that. And man, it looks like they might come down and touch that hundred dollar resistance or support soon. Yep. And then we have Whitney saying BYND had a lot of cancellations from restaurants and with COVID going up, they expect more downside. So let's take a look at BYND. This one had a pretty decent day overall. It's up around 5%. It's breaking out uh, pretty well right now. And I don't think it looks too bad, Tom. I was maybe going to like sell some puts on it, but I'm kind of undecided. Yeah, I actually really like this setup, Mike. I like how it's at the 130 resistance. I think we might get a little bit of a breakthrough there over the next few days. But I think Beyond is honestly pretty undervalued for the longer term right now. They are at 130 a share. And they're, re they're really a, a pretty volatile stock. You know, they go up and down quite a bit. They've been trading pretty much between a range of like, you could say like 115 with like an upper range of like 180. If you wanted to say like 160, they just went like up and down between there for, you know, the past like, yeah, just about the past couple of years. So really just looking at it, I would hope to see a breakout with them soon. And I think they're in a pretty good sector. You know, there, a lot of people are getting uh, into this like meatless stuff, all that and all that stuff. So I think that the sector could start to pop off soon. All right, so thank you guys so much for watching today's video. Don't forget, if you want to trade with Tom, the bot, and myself every single day, click that first link in the description down below. Daily options, swing trades, day trades, order flow bots. Uh, the bot has been doing pretty well. Like we said, it called out that DraftKings play at 142 today, ran all the way up to 225, and you can cancel at any time. So if you want to try it out, it's that first link in the description down below. But Tom, do you have any last minute stocks or anything you're watching for tomorrow? You know, I really have my eye on these AMC earnings that are going on. And it looks like so far in after hours, they have not really reported too much stuff yet. But I'm telling you, this stock was looking like it could start to pop off the $30 support. You could say the $28.50 support, but I really like it. You know, it seemed like we could get a good pop 
And hopefully these movie theaters can start to, you know, show some strength again. I'd like to see so, uh, how many people get back there. And the main thing with them is going to be the hype though. So as long as they report good numbers, I think people will start to get hyped up about AMC and they'll start to get in. So we'll have to see how this earnings report starts to come out, but um, it'll definitely be an interesting one. So guys, keep, uh, keep your eyes on AMC. I think it could be a good move tomorrow, especially if the hype starts to buy in. All right. Well, thank you guys so much for watching today's video. If you are new here, don't forget to subscribe. We post brand new videos every single day. Don't forget to join Tom and I live every single day at Market Open on the Stocked Up Live YouTube channel. The link for that is in the description down below. And if you have any questions, let us know in the comments down below. But other than that, thanks for watching.